folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again, and today we have a very, very cool looking truck series diecast here, guys. A 2021 Haley Deegan built Ford Tough, uh, Ford F-150, if you couldn't guess already. This is a very cool paint scheme because it looks almost exactly like a monster energy truck would look uh, with a very, very nice sublime green. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this truck out of the Here box. we go, folks, right out of the good old box. Check out this truck series diecast. The first thing I see with this thing is it has a very, very nice kind of a satin kind of sheen uh, to this freaking truck. This looks incredible, guys. Love that uh, that texture uh, kind of clear coat design. But let's go ahead and dive into this truck series piece. So I will say, though, um, the diecast when it's in the box doesn't really stand out to me. But already holding the diecast out of the box certainly looks really, really cool. So you camping world right there in the front windshield, built Ford Tough. You got the, I believe this is already the out-of-date uh, Ford uh, front end. I believe they changed everything for 2022. So you got the Ford F F-150 logo. You have a little bit of some uh, very nice uh, Monster Energy Green accents. I got number, uh, number one right there. Simpson, Sunoco, and the Sunoco Rookie Decal. Uh, I got DGR Crossley right there. Let's go over here to uh, the left side of this truck and get a closer look at it. So the whole paint scheme is very sleek, very subtle, uh, very modern, if you will. Uh, very nice, uh, just a normal gloss uh, black paint job with kind of a, a semi-gloss texture to it with a charcoal side panel with a very, very cool uh, Monster Energy Green uh, side decal there. So that looks very, very cool. So you got the Goodyear decal here, about a thousand contingencies. I mean, holy cow. Uh, you got the Built Tough right there, Ford Performance, Toter, Built for Extremes, uh, American Ethanol. Haley Deegan right there on the uh, side, uh, driver's side uh, window panel. Uh, you got, uh, what is it, it's a DGR, Lucas Oil, Ford. A whole bunch of contingencies that I really um, couldn't name all of them probably. I do see a Wiley X decal. A lot of people remember that from, uh, of course, the, uh, what's his face? Matt Kenseth, the Matt Kenseth. Uh, days back in 2011. Uh, of course, you, have the, you know, Camper World Truck Series, Race Truck, Mobile One, ARP, Holly, Cometic, Tilton, a whole bunch of contingencies. Now, I can't see a little bit of a decal crinkle, unfortunately, right there. Uh, I mean, look at all these contingencies, guys. Got Lucas Oil, once again, Cometic, Lincoln Welders, very, very cool stuff. I will say, though, uh, the number one thought, this should have been Kurt Busch's thought. Like, this number one looks incredible. I wish they would have put this on Kurt Busch's monster car for the for all the years. I wish Jamie McMurray had this font. I couldn't stand that uh, that very bland font they had for so many years. Uh, let's go to the back end of this truck, the tailgate, if you will. Got the Ford badge, Ford performance, and another Ford license plate because we don't have enough blue ovals. Why not? Uh, I got the rookie uh, back tape. Uh, I got your, you know, your tail lights. Very, very cool. Uh, the, the spoiler is painted black. There's nothing on the bed cover, which I imagine maybe a Monster Energy decal or something would have been really nice. Uh, let's go to the right side of this Silverado. Oh, pff, Silverado. Ford, because, I mean, it doesn't say Ford a thousand times around here. Uh, but, of course, if you want to pick up any of the Haley Deegan diecasts, I believe this truck is still in stock over there at Circle B Diecast. If you want to get, you know, free shipping, guys, make sure you use the promo code DIECASTBUFFET, and you'll get uh, free shipping on any orders. $20 more, guys, so make sure you go check that out. I just love this paint scheme, um, but I'm not a big fan of the sponsor on the truck, because, like, if you think about it, if you kind of remove the Ford logos, I mean, it looks almost exactly like a Monster Energy paint scheme should. Um, but I, I don't know about the Ford logos. It just kind of just thrown in there, if you ask me. But I am glad we did get this diecast produced. I have no idea if this thing's going to ever dry up. Who knows? I mean, eventually, Haley Deegan, I imagine, is going to find a way to a SHR uh, Cup uh, car. Who knows? Obviously, to get through Xfinity first. But they might just say, screw it. Uh, don't go to the Xfinity series. Just go strip to Cup. It has happened multiple times, so uh, who knows on that one. Of course, you have the number one font right there. It just looks so cool. I love that. It's very modern, kind of has a motocross vibe to it. Really like that. Uh, of course, you go to the back window panel. Uh, Deegan right there with the, the back uh, brake lights or trail lights, whatever those are. There's a little piece of glitter on the dash right here. I don't know if y'all could see that, but there's a little sparkle in that right here where my right thumb is. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, th th this truck is very cool, but I do feel like it is missing a little bit of something. I, I feel like it is missing a little bit of something. Um, the Ford logos don't look bad on it, don't get me wrong. But I just, I don't know. I feel like this would be a, a, a cool truck to customize. 
Because again, if you look at it like this, it's the perfect monster energy truck. Put a decal there. You could probably, I don't know, you could probably put a big decal over this. It'd be tough to match it with the uh, the clear coat. But theoretically, you could just, you know, make this truck a full gloss, change out the logos, and uh, you can make this thing really cool. But uh, I will say, though, the paint scheme, though, it looks fantastic. It would look great on a Xfinity car. It would look great on a, uh, obviously, a cup car. Uh, but nonetheless, is it better than the other uh, Haley Deegan truck we got, th that being the uh, the Toter uh, truck, number one Toter truck. And didn't they make a number 17 truck from, from her 2020 partial season? I believe they did because it ran at Kansas. Um, so this would make the third Haley Deegan truck if I am correct on that one. I don't know. I believe I am. Uh, who knows? <laughs> Been wrong about a thousand times before. Uh, but yeah, I will say that this one's a little bit of a, 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 a it's kind of a missed opportunity, I, I, I think. Uh, the, the logos, if they were a little bit different, uh, I think it would blend in a lot better with the Mosh Energy Green because you have red, you have blue, then you have like three different textures of white, gray, and dark gray. I just feel like um, if if they would have changed the, the, the neon green to maybe blue or red, it would have flowed a lot better, but having Mosh Energy Green with Ford logos, I don't know about that one, guys. I don't know. But uh, nonetheless, very, very cool-looking truck series diecast. Of course, the official built Ford Tough Ford F-150. Because, uh, again, we don't have enough blue oval uh, logos, right? <laughs> Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you can, please give it a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Hope you're having a swell day out there. Um, if you see this truck, make sure to pick it up. Pretty cool little piece, and uh, it'll make a great addition to your diecast series. If you do have one, or you just like collecting the truck series diecast, guys, make sure to pick up a Haley Deegan truck. Um, who knows how many they're making of these things, so uh, get them while you can. Have a great one, everybody. Diecast Buffet, sign it off.